Jason, there's no business like show business. Like no business we know, Jimmy. And there's no line like show line. No, the uh, Philips Showline SL Bar 620, it, well, it's not really a cyclide, it's not really a ground row, it's like, what is it exactly? Well, that's a good question. Um, I, I suppose that at its core, it is a, a, a multi-segmented RGBW mm -hmm. LED fixture. We've got um, 12 individual mm -hmm. engines, but yep. they're controlled in banks of two. So two, two, mm. two, 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 two. Mm. Uh, you can achieve individual control over the, uh, the pairs, mm -hmm. so you can effectively pixel map. Um, it's... Uh, Interesting in the that it's got a 60 degree yeah. Um, yeah, light wide. field, uh, and they also have a 30 degree version available as well, mm. um, which is quite wide for an LED. Yeah, yeah, very. very. Now, in response to, to what you said at the mm. very at the very head of this piece, um, it's kind of, in some ways, it's it's not aspheric, uh, sorry, asymmetrical enough to be a cyclone, no, no. but you can still use it as a cyclone. Yeah, you you could. probably want to put in a top and a yeah. ground row, but you, you could definitely use it for that and it will mm. work really well. Mm. Um, it's kind of, I think, probably a little bit high profile to be specifically, you know, a footlight, for mm. instance. Mm. But I think the, the beam angle on this and, and the width of the fixture mm. and just the general tidy appearance of it mm. would make it an excellent ground row. Yeah, or flood. Or flood. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, I think, as you say, it's really, it's hard to, to sort of confine mm. or definitively say this is designed obviously with this specific application mm. in mm. mind because I don't think it is. Yeah, but I mean, what I think they're going for though is that if you've got a bunch of these in your stock, you could actually pretty much deploy them on just about every gig to do something, so they're not always sitting around idle. I mean, if you've got two of them stacked up, you know, vertically, you can pixel map. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think uh, I think a really cool thing is the fact that the actual uh, tilt lock is mm. internal. Mm. It sits within the the borders of the fixture, mm. which means that if you put another one next to it your gap between the pixel on this fixture and the pixel on this fixture is going to mm. be the same. And I think if you did some of those as uprights, up yeah. some trusses or something, and, you know, map some bar graphs, yeah. I think that'd be really look, cool. I think with a lot of creative thinking, there's a lot you can do with these, which makes them pretty good value. Yeah, yeah, look, I, I agree. I, I, I very much agree. Um, look, the, the menu system uh, is common to the rest of the show line range, and indeed it's not the only thing that's common to the mm. range. Um, Philips had this harmonized color system. Mm, mm. Uh, so every element in this fixture matches every other element and mm. every element in this fixture matches every element in any other fixture mm, so in the show line range. And I yeah. think that's really cool. Uh, there, there is an internal cooling fan. I haven't yet heard it come on, so no. it's nice and quiet. Mm. So I think, look, this really sort of, it, it has a bit of heritage in theater, but I think it's, uh, its applications certainly spread, spread their wings well beyond just the bounds of the theater. Absolutely.